Hey everybody, um, Goody Wagon here. I just wanted to uh, post a review of my um, slightly used but purchased new uh, Brunton all fuel stove. Um, I guess my pot's about to tip off it actually, but uh, it'll do for now. Um, I just wanted to post this to um, clear a few things up because when I was doing my research uh, before I bought it, I uh, I came across a surprising number of negative reviews, and um, I've actually been kind of blown away how awesome the stove is. Uh, so I just wanted to take the time and clear a few things up. I haven't done a whole lot of testing with the liquid fuel. Uh, like I have, I have two bottles, um, a liter and a half liter, but um, I I used unleaded gas in it a couple times and it uh, clogged it up pretty good. It was nothing that the uh, little cleaning tool that comes with it couldn't fix. It comes with the uh, uh, parts bag of just about everything you need to replace it and it's a parts kit on Amazon that has everything you need for like 20 bucks or less. Um, it's very easy to switch between a butane propane mix cylinder as such. Um, basically you just turn this orange part, this dial right here, You it has a G and that's where it's turn to right now and you turn it to the, the, the uh, flame adjuster and um, fuel input uh, and you turn it um, counterclockwise if you are using liquid fuel i.e. not gasoline I would not recommend but it technically burns just about anything from jet fuel to diesel I would not recommend that either it's probably pretty terrible um, certainly will soot up the bottom of your, uh, your cooking wear but um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. One of the main drawbacks or uh, complaints, and it's not really a problem for me, but it is noticeable. It's quite loud, which I'll demonstrate shortly. Um, but, and a lot of people were saying that it's very loud, but the boil time is lacking. It's not very good. And granted, we are inside right now, and it does it does um, go down a bit when you're outside and if it's breezy so the heat gets blown around that's just how it is but it comes with a windscreen and you can get one for like five six bucks you know or you can get a better one for a little more but, uh... They, they work pretty well sometimes it just limits what you're cooking on it was you are it's very sturdy stove and you can like nail it to a uh, a board or something and it will hold quite a bit i don't know how much but it's it will hold a decent weight it's well built um, but I, I find, especially inside right now, I mean, I have windows open and everything. You shouldn't use this completely closed because it does have propane in it, but it's, I don't know, I don't find it to uh, leave too much of a smell as long as you light it right away and don't have it without the flame. But why would you? All right, so uh, I guess we'll give a demonstration of it as to uh, see if we can capture some of the noise and um, show you how quickly it actually uh, uh, makes noticeable heat in the uh, water here. And just maybe how quickly it boils, since it is fairly quick. But uh, yeah, so you turn, turn this, turn on the fuel, and my gas is already turned on all the way because I don't know, just how I do. It. I'm not a particularly careful person. Might be the end someday. But let me see. Just instantly lights. Very, um, very low flame. I think you can see it dance. I'll just find my adjuster here. It has very precise simmer control. Um, you can, I mean, it's very finicky, but it stays once you uh, leave it as of yet. But basically, I'll demonstrate that. Just turn it very, very slowly, but it has a very, very precise center. But uh, I'll give it the rockets. It, it um, helps significantly. This is probably about less than a quarter power, even, but uh, look at the juice. fairly loud. Uh, it's been a couple days since I've cleaned it, which by just takes a poking with a needle in it. And it does sound a little bit clogged, but it's still quite the rocket. And it, uh, it boils things very quickly, especially inside or when you in the condition. As you can see, there are already bubbles on the bottom. Now, it was warm before this, because I was going to cook my lovely ravioli dinner, 
but I wanted to make a demonstration just to show you, but it was not hot, and it had been a while since I, had, I screwed up the first few tries of this. But uh, yeah, it's a good stove. It burns many things, not vegetable oil, not biodiesel. Well, actually, I, I suppose biodiesel, but I really wouldn't use um, anything for the liquid fuel except like foaming liquid, and if you're in Marincia, I guess, gas, but it, it really wasn't that great when I burned gas. Cold, when it's cold out, these things uh, kind of suck. They make things so you can turn them upside down so they're supposed to do better. Give them a little shake if you need some more power, it seems to, yeah. To kick it up a little bit. Um, that's pretty much it. Just gotta be careful when you're using the liquid fuel. It's a lot more messy. Easy to blow yourself up with. When you're pumping it, you gotta be careful not to tip your uh, fucking wheel over. It's bad. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, already. Yeah, it'll only be like three minutes from now. I'm gonna shut this off like in the end of the room and I gotta make some other shit. Alright, this is Goody Wagon out.